Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing off a very interesting welder box deck with a variety of attackers, including Vicavolt V, Riparier V, uh, Torkoal V, Heatran GX, uh, Milotic V. This is a really interesting deck that uses both welder and Aurora energies to uh, load up a variety of attackers depending on your matchup in order to uh, have just optimal utility against just a variety of different decks. This deck was created by a good friend of ours named Burnt Hot Pocket. Uh, he's also a Twitch streamer. I have linked his Twitch in the description below. So be sure to follow him. Uh, he did create this very creative deck and I believe he got first place in an online tournament with it. Um, so you have Vicavolt V, which can item lock your opponent. You have Milotic V, which can knock out Center Scorch in one hit. You have Riparier V, which can knock out uh, both um, uh, what am I saying? Both Eternatus VMAX and uh, Picaram in one hit. We have Volcanian, which is an amazing going second starter. Torkoal, denying energy, super good against ADP and Eternatus. We have Double, which just knocks out uh, Pokemon late game. So we have a variety of different attackers, and we can accelerate using Welder to attach that energy. We have one copy of Surge in here so that we can boss and Welder on the same turn for Aurora energies so that we can attack depending on what our opponent is using, whether uh, we need the Milotic that turn, whether we need Vicavolt that turn, or whether we're just using uh, Riparior or just putting that energy onto a Heatran in order to increase the total damage that Hotburn GX is going to do. This is a very creative deck and it has lots of utility and options. So hopefully you enjoy the games I prepared. If this is your first time here at the channel, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. All that stuff helps the channel out. And yeah, hopefully you enjoy these games. Can't. I can't remember a single thing, so we're just going to play some Pokemon. I can't remember what I was going to say. Okay. Okay, so we're playing against Alm, Ak, and Ali. I think this is a account shared by three people based on based on the way the name looks. Uh, probably um, uh, Alma, Achilles, and Ali. Uh, I think that's their name, probably. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. I was going to say something about Dedenne. Um, yeah, starting Dedenne, starting Crobat sucks no matter what. Uh, I personally like Dedenne a little bit better because I think in more situations you want to dig deeper than you want to save something in the hand. But I can also see how in a Welder deck Dedenne is really annoying. So, yeah, there's, there's pros and cons. Um... I think Burnt's original choice of two Dedenne, two Crobat seems really, really good. Um, but yeah, I'm just doing the three Dedenne here because I don't have the Crobat yet. So we're playing against Colossal Sanaconda. They put the Roly Colies down. They're able to draw pretty far. They're playing Hapu, which is interesting. I guess that is to get that energy into the discard pile. So that is something they are doing indeed. Um, I think we want to Quick Ball and then start Weldering to it. Um, yeah, we want a quick ball for Pokemon. We're going to need a switch. Should we get rid of Poke Gear? I think we're not going to need Poke Gear because we're going to be using Welder this turn. Uh, we are also probably going to get Volcanion, right? Well, let's think. Yeah, we should probably get Volcanion and then hopefully we draw into another Pokemon. Because I don't want to Welder onto anything else, so... We'll put down the Volcanion. We will Welder onto it. And yeah, we did get another Pokemon, which is very lucky. So against Colossal Sanaconda, what do we want to do? What is our game plan here? Um, this is weak to grass, right? It is weak to grass, not water. So Milotic is not... Wait, how much retreat does this have? This has three retreat. So let's think. We're doing 10, 50 more for each. We are not doing enough with my low tick. Um, who is the right attacker here? I think it's actually Torkoal. I think Torkoal just because we want to do that. Um, we could play Giant Hearth, but I don't. I think I actually should play Giant Hearth. And just start thinning my own deck out and... Yes, they'll 
get access to more things, but... Hmm. Hmm. We'll save the Aurora. I don't know if I'm playing this completely correctly. I think this might be the way to go. Let's just prepare a Pokemon. Um... Because Sanaconda is going to accelerate onto itself, but if we can deny enough energy from it. Ugh, we're too late, we're too late. They're already going to get their Colossals up and running. Have, uh, have you ever played BDO, Diego? I do not know what BDO stands for. What does that stand for? Best deck optimally. Have you tried the new Incineroar V? I was looking at getting him. I have not tried it yet. Uh, I don't have it. I don't have any of the Champion's Path cards yet. But in theory, oh, Black Desert Online. Um, okay, I had this friend in college who was like super addicted to that game. He was like super into it. He played it like all the time. Um, I have never played it before. Uh, I'm not the biggest into MMOs, but I mean, I played RuneScape like, like way back in the day. But um, no, I, ha I have not played it, but I... I do know people who have, and they've been super into it. Uh, yeah, but Incineroar V, um, I think in theory is really, really good, and it like fits so well in Welder Box, and especially for like 90, um, for all, three energy, being able to do 90 really early, that's like more than what most Welder decks can accomplish. Um, so I think that's really good. Uh, I'm scared. Ugh. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm in such a bad spot. I think I have to just steam crush. Like, I don't want to waste energy anywhere. Maybe I should have put down Volcanion and just threw an energy on it, but... All they need is a fighting to get this... Uh, they have two of them. Like, I'm so screwed. I'm so screwed. All right. You're going to start today. I wish you luck with that. Hope you have fun. Yeah. So here's what. We're going to concede that game. Because we weren't going to win that. Um, yeah. Maybe instead of um, using that Pokemon communication to find Torkoal. I should have Pokemon communication for Dedene. Uh, I was just scared of throwing away the, the Aurora in my hand. But yeah, so the Incineroar V, here's the thing about Incineroar V, is it's, I think it's really good, but I don't think you should play like an Incineroar V deck as itself. I think it fits really good paired with other fire attackers. So you have your Ninetales V, you have your Torkoal V, you have, um, you just have a variety of like good fire attackers that like welder can attach fire energy to and i think uh incineroar v just fits well as like one copy or two copies of in like a fire toolbox welder deck similar to what burnt is playing but this this deck that i have this 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 uh one of burnt's decks is is very creative very different from a lot of um a lot of welder box decks because it plays the aurora and it plays non-fire pokemon which is kind of uncommon for decks of this type so uh what do we want to do i think we want to pare down our hand as much as we can right we're going second so we want to get that into play Just burn that card there, throw that down, throw this down. Then we can curl that. Uh, there's the torque hole. Uh, then we can get rid of pokey gear. Get that. Hopefully we draw into switch here. We did draw the switch. And maybe we should accelerate energy onto Riparior. Just so we can be threatening 
the Eternatus. Yeah, let's do three energy right there. Because then Torkoal is live, Riparior is live. Oh, we're so set against this Eternatus deck. Because we can deny energy, we can take big knockouts, like, we're so set. And then, I guess they could get really big numbers and then try and take a knockout. But if they knock this out, we deny energy. If they knock this out, we take knockouts. So, we're so set. We're so set. This is, like, the best opening. We do lose the Aurora, so we do need the Aurora for Riparior to be live. Whereas Torkoal is just going to be kind of live on its own, I think. Yeah, it really sucks that we got Marnie there, because we did lose the Aurora. Standard feels stale. Hopefully the new set brings some change to the meta. Oh, you mean Champion's Path? I don't think Champion's Path really changes anything. Yeah, I think I think the tier one of standard is 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 stale in the sense that yeah, vivid voltage is coming in November, so there will be some change. Um, however, uh, yeah, I don't think champion's path really does a whole lot. So we'll do this, and oh, maybe I should have put it there. And, well, I didn't have a way to switch, so we'll just Flare Starter, and we'll just take this last fire and throw it there. We get Scrafty, though? Yes, Pog! Finally a Scrafty! Yeah. Uh, I think the Tier 1 of Standard is stale, because it's just like ADP Eternatus and Scorch, and it's hard for other things to really break into that. But I think the Tier 2 right now of Standard is really interesting. There's lots of uh, boxes you can play. Um, there's like a cool lightning box Picarom deck. There's cool dark box decks that aren't really Eternatus. I think Torkoal is cool. I think Welder box type stuff is cool. I think there's just a lot of like cool stuff going around right now. Um, let's see, we have the two fire energy to discard. So we'll send up Torkoal because we don't have Aurora. I'll regret it if we draw Aurora right there. Uh, but we'll use Fire Crystal, we'll get this into play. Uh, I'm gonna manually, sorry, Welder attach one Fire Energy there. We're gonna draw three cards. We did not draw the Aurora, but uh, we can start loading up the second Riparior V right there. That can be helpful. Um, everything in our hand is kinda not, okay, they quit, they quit. Um, I didn't really think there was a way Eternatus could win that because w once we knock off energy off the first Eternatus, it becomes hard. They lose a turn. They have to tempo. And then we get another turn to then draw into, um, Aurora. And then we start getting knockouts with a Riparian. So I actually think that this deck has a wonderful Eternatus matchup. So we'll play a couple more games with this. See how this goes. I hate playing against Mad Party, it's so annoying. Ooh, Mad, Par <laughs> Mad Party is one of the most fun decks, I think. I, I'm really happy Mad Party exists. I, just my personal opinion, but I would rather be in a format where Mad Party exists than one where it does have. Um, it, it can be annoying, it, especially if you're not prepared for it. Especially if you're not prepared for it. Uh, I'm not going to argue with you on it being annoying, but uh, I do think it is can be very fun. More so for the person playing Mad Party, but yeah. Okay. Let's throw this stuff. I th think I should attack. I'm gonna just spend the pokey gears because I don't want welder. Yeah, I just want to research. Oh, excuse me. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Thank you for blessing me. Wait, I feel blessed. 
I don't play Mad Party, but I'm glad it exists. I think it's been the most positive thing to come out of Darkness and Blaze. You need easy entry-level deck for low spenders that can be scaled with expensive cards. Yeah, I, I agree. I think Mad Party is a great deck for people learning the game, but also like experienced people. Like, I don't know if that's your play style. If you want to just smack with the tiny little uh, partiers, I think I think that's cool. And also, like, it's good for new players or people learning because you'll get really good at sequencing and you'll learn like, okay. So I have this research, I have two mad partiers in hand, and I have two switches and a boss, right? So like I can play I can play the research and I get two more partiers in the discard, but I'm also throwing away two switches and a boss, which are like tools for the future. So like I don't know, it'll teach you it'll teach you um um it'll teach you just sequencing and like making those difficult decisions. I think you can actually learn a lot as a new player from playing Mad Party. Um, Little Leaper wants to burn it along with the Muck deck. Yeah, that's because you play like Decidueye or like just Lock decks. Yeah, but like that, I think that's kind of why Mad Party needs to exist because Decidueye needs a check on it too. There needs to be good non V, non tag team whatever decks so that Decidueye has something watching it too. All right, so we got Drill Burst here. We got Machokes. Okay, I've been seeing a lot of this Machoke and maybe it just hasn't evolved into Machamp. Really, I just, I don't, I don't get this deck. Like, yeah, you're hitting Eternatus for weakness, but like, okay, I'm, d I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here critiquing our opponent's deck because that's just gonna be embarrassing for me when I inevitably lose. So let's, let's just get pokies into play. We're not gonna put down Vicavolt cause that's gonna get hit for weakness. Um, we can deny energy. We can do that actually pretty effectively. We can put down hearth. We can discard a fire, get two more fires to thin the deck. And then we're gonna pokey gear. We're gonna find a welder. Now we find boss, which is not welder, but whatever. Okay, um, oh, pass turn. Hmm. I'm curious how this goes for us. Because we didn't really have a switch. Well, we did have a switch there, so... Maybe uh, instead of going for the Riparia right away, I should have gone for Volcanion and then switched. That probably would have been better, but we were going first. It was my mistake choosing to go first. Uh, I don't know why I did that. I should have chosen to go second, so I feel like I really messed that up there. Um, this is the 11th hour tackle deck, but it also plays uh, Machamp and Machoke, which is interesting. Uh, also our active is, is weak to fighting, so that's a mistake. This is, this is shaping up to be a not amazing game for us. Okay. So we will quick ball. Maybe that was the wrong thing to find. Whatever. 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 Oh, I'm floundering. I'm floundering bad. Um, yikes, what am I doing? I'm doing something wrong. I don't know what, what, what it is, but something something I'm doing is, is incorrect. I'm gonna lose to Excadrill Machop. Okay, there's the Machoke. Okay, 
11th hour tackle, we get hit. Alright, now we can uh, put, I guess, one Aurora there. Discard that. Uh, we can start weldering onto this Riparior. Um, we can get rid of this Volcanian, get the last fire energy out of the deck, uh, and then we'll Steam Crush, and then just hopefully not get Marnied. I think maybe we can last a bit here. Oh, the Machop does 200, doesn't it? Machamp, I mean. Does 200? 200 for three energy, so. I wonder if this has like some kind of energy acceleration or just needs to tempo, because if if it needs to tempo, then we can just knock the energy off with Steam Crush and then we've, we've won by that point. Right? I believe so. I believe that's how this whole thing works, but I don't know, we might get knocked out by surprise Excadrill, something like that. Might have gotten through the deck really quickly. Okay, there's the second one. There's the Machop. We got Macho Revenge. Oh, it does 20 damage for each fighting in the discard. Ah, so it's like a big, scary, mad party. Ah. 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 Wow. Maybe I should quit Pokemon. Maybe I shouldn't play anymore. Why would I bother? Um... What are we discarding? I guess fire. Why would I bother? Heavy rock artillery? Okay. Let's just not lose another Pokemon. That would suck. Let's just knock out this Dedenne next turn and then the Dedenne after that. That's my plan of action. It is the opponent's turn. They send up their Drillber. They evolve into Excadrill. Up oh, here comes the 11th hour tackle. Here comes the... Okay, bot. Oh, no! My Dedenne! No! I refuse. I refuse to accept reality. I'm upset. My reality has been fractured. Uh, I'm questioning my own existence. 